This is the picture Keyshant Moore Sr. has looked at every day for the last 20 months. When I see his baby pictures, it's like, like that's my baby. Like, they, they took my baby from me. Police say Keyshant Moore Jr. was riding his bike to a friend's house here on Front Street in January 2011 when he was struck by a driver who took off. Police say that driver is a 17-year-old already in a detention facility on unrelated charges. I don't want to see him. Like, it's, it's to that. Like Police say the suspect was in a stolen minivan when he intentionally opened the driver's door, striking and killing Moore Jr. It is a manslaughter. It's an intentional act. Police say tracking down the suspect, who has an extensive criminal background, was complicated. It was done through a comparison of this case and the similarities with other cases and other crimes that have been committed. Internationally known forensics expert Dr. Henry Lee was also a big help. Moore Sr. says he's grateful the family has some answers, but life has not been the same without his boy. I feel like I was cheated, like I raised this boy. To stay positive, the family has been planning a party for what would have been Moore's 16th birthday on Halloween. It will be a trick-or-treat event at Wexler Grant Community School for Kids. It will also be part of a scholarship fund winning a prize that Keyshant would have loved. We give a tuxedo, a limousine, and a haircut to an eighth grader who gives academics and perfect attendance. What he wanted was to go to prom. That's all he kept talking about is his eighth grade prom, his eighth grade prom. Now the family is really excited to present the first winner this spring. The Halloween party we told you about is free and we'll have all that information on our website, WTNH.com. Anna and Keith, back to you.